Hi, welcome. We are on Arch Linux B and we're building ISOs. Yes, you can build your own personalized ISO. You don't need to download it. If you say it's all bloated and it's too much software or too little software or it's not the correct software, etc. Right? It's built your own ISO time. You go to the website Arch Linux B and you go build, in this case, I'm going to build GNOME. The text I just you just saw is an image. So if you are starting to become a builder and say, I'm going to do this more and more, then on Discord we have a channel and we show you this image if it's not a good time to build because of the fact that Calamar has changed, because of the fact that we're changing our GitHubs and stuff like that. We'll tell you it's not the time and we'll tell again if it's time to build. So be aware of that. So GNOME it is and you know the look of GNOME and it says here that we go for a git clone in our terminal. We move this out of the way, go to our desktop and open a terminal, Control shift v you get everything in. And what is everything? A folder with some other folders and some files. This is all maintenance, nothing important here. This is what you need. Here you're gonna run it with the scripts run the scripts and here you can edit a file and it's simple as that it's just deleting a hashtag or adding text or uh, putting a hashtag in front of it because everything that's um, gonna be let's go for Perl here everything that's black is not going to be installed on the ISO and suddenly you realize oh I'm not having my terminus fonts so just having these guys back in well i need all these fonts these are great fonts i need them all right that's it it's just a hashtag away you do Control s save it and it applies to any of these things here anything that's coming from the arch linux repos you can just type it in here just one thing at a time i mean one package per line and then it's time to build you put this one up here installation scripts and there are two scripts Basically there's one, right? But we've created second one and that's the reason for it. So number 40 is the second one, it's a new one. And why am I using this one now? This one is built the ISO the first time. The first time you are building it, it's gonna clean out var cache pacman packages. All everything is gone, delete it. It's the cache, so it's not important. Uh, to have it unless you want to downgrade later that's 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 the only disadvantage you can't downgrade anymore locally of course the application downgrade downgrade will get it from the internet so in effect there is no downside the thing is there is a plus in this case if you have problems with internet if you have uh, slow internet if the bandwidth is, is is not enough if you just have one gigabyte a month a day a week i don't know really um, then you get you need to get it at one time of course you need to get the packages in but this one lets you reuse the packages that you already have locally so the number 40 is good for the guys with low bandwidth and um, it will build of course faster because you don't need to wait for the downloads anymore it's already here it contains 2.6 or 2.5 gigabytes right and everything is, is going straight for installing. Why? Because it is already here. We don't need to download it. But GNOME needs some more packages. So all these guys are actually new stuff. It's new stuff. And Terminus Fonts is the one we've chosen earlier on. You see? And all the GNOME packages are as well there. But it's a small download, really. Just a few packages more. Well, it's um, done. I mean... We can just walk away and wait for the build to, to end and you'll have a nice ISO to test out. So let's wait for the build. And it's finished. Arcanlinks B GNOME is ready. It is 1.9 gig and it's a version 20 to February as well a version. The GNOME, well, generally desktops are a little bit bigger, around 2 gigs and the tiny window manager around 1.5, 1.6, but that doesn't matter if you like GNOME. If you go to Linux B, the out folder, you'll find your particular ISO that you've built and you've chosen the packages that go on there. It's gonna be your 
personalized ISO. We give you the power, you use it. Cheers.